I'm not trying to get in another. I've never had one and I'm not trying to figure out what it's like. Guys, it is 6 a.m. and I pretty much just woke up. Well, no, morning. I woke up at like 4 o'clock, 3.40 or some crazy. And right now I just feel like I'm starving. I don't know why. So, I'm gonna make a little coffee and hopefully I can go back to sleep afterwards. I don't know. But hopefully I can. But right now my stomach is burning and that's not what we're going for. So I'm gonna make some coffee. So I'm done with my coffee and well, I'm not done, like, almost done. And I feel so much better. My stomach is not doing that burning thing that I was doing earlier. Am I gonna go back to sleep? I don't know, maybe not. But do I feel better? Yes, and it's 6.36 right now. I'm just um scrolling through YouTube in the mornings. Normally when I wake up, the first thing I like to do is like, um pray i think i've mentioned this before the first thing i like to do is pray and sometimes i'll forget also my hair is looking a mess let's just, just disregard that like i said i woke up with my stomach burning possibly because i felt like i was starving in my sleep so i'm normally in the mornings when i wake up before i check my phone and stuff like that i like to pray first i feel like it's a good way to offset the day but sometimes i forget when I do forget, you know, you just forget what are you going to do. But when I do remember, I'll like stop whatever I'm doing, wherever I am throughout the day and like make sure that I pray because it's one of those things that are really important to me. You know how people have their daily rituals. That, that's kind of like my daily ritual. I have a reminder set for 705 every single morning that says pray and read your Bible. I don't always read the Bible, but I always try to pray. Last night I was also reading the Bible, just randomly. I was going through Pinterest and I saw something that really um, grabbed my attention. And I'm like, let me go see what that verse is really about. So I was reading a little bit before I went to bed. And I like that. It's pretty dope. So just now, that was the whole moral of the story. I woke up from like either like 3 40 or 4 o'clock this morning i can't remember because i obviously did not wake up off my own well i did not want to be up but um because i woke up so early and i tried going back to sleep and that was just wasn't working out so i um i just by default started scrolling through like I, I finished i was watching a video before i fell asleep last night so i woke up and you know i finished watching that and then i just started scro scrolling through youtube and just watching some more videos so i didn't actually remember that oh sis you're up say a word of prayer be thankful for life before you scroll through the interwebs so like i said sometimes i'll forget but when i remember i try to like stop what i'm doing and pray and stuff like that but um yeah i don't really feel hungry i feel like the coffee um has done what it's supposed to do i don't think i can eat anything right now anyways so i'm gonna try and see if i can lay down and possibly go back to sleep i don't know how that's gonna work but i'm gonna give it a try to see if it actually works because i really do feel like i am tired like yesterday morning I woke up at I think around six o'clock and I was so annoyed I was telling my friend too I'm like listen because she was texting me at like sometime after two in the day or I think like after three in the day she was asking what I was doing and I was literally sleeping like I just woke up when I was replying to her message and she was just like wow and I'm telling her that you know I woke up at six o'clock my body just does not it's so acclimated to waking up at a certain time when I used to work at the beauty supply store. So just like now that I'm not working, it's still doing that, which I feel like is good to be in a routine. But Jesus, let me let a girl sleep. So sometimes that's kind of annoying. 
and it still happens. This morning, that was not it. But chances are I'm not going to be able to go back to sleep until like 8, 9 o'clock or like 9, 10 o'clock. I'm not really sure. Also, I, I told Nadine that I was going to come over today because she wanted me to help her with something. And right now at 6 a.m., I don't know if I feel like leaving the house. But that's probably because I'm such a homebody too. Anyways, we still have the whole rest of the day to go. So hopefully um, that changes and I actually do feel like leaving. I can feel like a slight headache. Chances are I need to drink some water with some um, lime in there because that's really good for like the blood pressure or whatever. So maybe I should, maybe I should do that instead of taking the Excedrin because I do have some Excedrins for um, migraines, but I don't want my body to get used to um, that every time my head hurts. I want to try more natural substance free ways of um, getting rid of it. So I think I'm going to put some, um, let me actually show you guys. I don't have, I had a bottle of water before I went to bed. Oh, yep. It's definitely a slight headache somewhere there. So, water. And then, um, let me fix this. Oh. And then I have some lime juice because the lemon itself is expensive, okay? And I just feel like the lime juice is the same thing. So I have this lime juice and then I'm going to just um, open it and pour a little bit of it inside of the water. Put you guys here. So I don't put too much, just a tiny bit. Love how the camera is completely focused on the bottle and then the background is like faded out. How come that doesn't happen when I want her to focus on my face? Be giving me such a hard time. Anyways, um, that is what I do with the lemon water. I'll put this milk back in the fridge because I just made some coffee. Or I can leave it there and just wash the bottle today and then I just drink this not really tasting nothing it tastes like there's not enough in there so I'm gonna add a little bit more I also feel like oh, great little handle Go <laughs> what great angle um so I'm gonna add a little bit more because I'm not really tasting it I mean, it's not supposed to taste like lemonade, but still, it tastes like actual water. Um, I I need to be drinking more water because, and I don't know how I'm not because I'm actually home, but you know how when you're not drinking enough water and stuff like that, you're susceptible to having um, UTIs. I'm not trying to get none of that. I've never had one. And I'm not trying to figure out what it's like. I watch um, OK Baby and Kira says she always has some kidney infections or whatever. I'm not trying to find out what that's like. Maybe now I put too much. You see how the water has like a tint? That's the aim. So yeah, I need to drink more water because my urine just looks a little bit concentrated. So I need to lighten it a little bit. I want to get it looking something like that and not <laughs> yellow like the dish soap. <laughs> yep, that's how you know it's bad. And then that is one way too where you can eliminate issues like that on your own. Listen, I'm not a doctor. I don't know. This is just what I do and it works for my body. Anyways, obviously I've been getting to talk too much. So I'm going to just pop back into bed. And see if I can fall asleep. 
hopefully I can. Thank you.